सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस वोल्टेज स्टेबलाइजर यूजिंग सर्वो मैकेनिज्म राइट वोल्टेज स्टेबलाइजर यूजिंग सर्वो मैकेनिज्म राइट सो हियर जस्ट हैव लुक एट इट दिस इज द स्कीमेटिक डायग्राम ऑफ द वोल्टेज स्टेबलाइजर यूजिंग सर्वो मैकेनिज्म सो in this here just have a look at it so here you are using this auto transformer and this is the servo motor circuit and this is the control circuit and motor driver right control circuit and motor driver circuit and uh, this is the load which is connected and voltage across this load is denoted by v not and this voltage is to be stabilized right from the fluctuating voltage that is coming you have to fix this voltage across the load so as you know that the, all the electrical appliances all the power system appliances they operate satisfactorily only at the rated voltage right that means if they are operated at the fixed voltage then and only then they are supposed to operate satisfactorily then all then only they will get best performance right so voltage across the load terminal it should not fluctuate right if it all it is fluctuating that means it's a it's a problem to deal with right so here this uh, this is the auto transformer that is being connected here right this is a booster uh, th this is the buck booster transformer and this is a single phase ac supply that is coming from here right and let me complete this connection it is uh, you know it is like this right so this is the schematic diagram of your voltage stabilizer using servo mechanism and here so in ordinary stabilizer if you see that there is a relay connected but here as such no any kind of relay is connected right this circuit is free from any kind of relay right and it is using a servo motor right it is using a servo motor and auto transformer combination with buck boost transformer in order to fix this voltage across the load right so so as you know that the voltage supply that is coming at your home it is 220 volt ac right 220 volts ac right so this voltage that you have to maintain across the load for domestic purpose it is how much it is equal to how much it is equal to 220 volts right that is ac voltage that you have to maintain right across any electrical appliances that you are using for domestic purpose right but from the input side if the load is fluctuating right that means either it will go above this rated value 220 or it can be go below the rated value right so depending on the various kinds of load connected in the power system depending on the reactive power demands the voltage it fluctuates right so this uh, fluctuation it should be avoided right and hence we are having this voltage stabilizer using servo mechanism so as you all know that uh, over voltage is a big problem in electrical engineering right it will lead to overheating right overheating lead to damage and burning of the insulation and then after damage and burning of the conductor windings right winding of the electrical appliances similarly under voltage is also a problem right due to under voltage also if you see any induction motor due to under voltage there is a temperature rise rise right so due to this neither over voltage nor the under voltage are desired they must be avoided and there is a need to stabilize the voltage across this load right so suppose the load voltage is fluctuating and due to this fluctuating voltage with 
it is appearing across the load then we have connected a control circuit and motor driver here so as soon as a fluctuating load is coming that means here this control circuit will sense this fluctuation in the voltage right and it will immediately send a command signal to this motor driver that is basically servo motor it's a servo assembly right and it's a servo motor basically right so this servo motor is basically it is having two winding control winding and the reference winding they are having 90 degree phase displacement so the servo motor is now connected to this stylus which is moving over this toroidal winding right it is the auto transformer which is being used here to provide this fluctuation in voltage right since we are simulating here so that's why we are using this auto transformer right so auto transformer is uh, it is also known as variable ac voltage right so this is used to vary the voltage across this load terminal right so here uh, this uh, as soon as uh, ac supply is applied here and you see that uh, this there is a buck boost transformer is connected here that means here this buck boost transformer is basically it is it is used to make adjust adjustments to the voltage applied to ac equipment right so here uh, 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 this buck boost transformer is used here and uh, it is uh, buck boost transformer it, it can also be used in it is in fact uh, it is used in in uninterrupted power supplies ups right there you can see uh, frequent application of this buck boots buck boost transformer right so in uh, ups systems right for computers you can see this buck boost transformer right and uh, this uh, transformer can also be used uh, to power up the low voltage circuits right including you see lighting circuits and the including the control circuits also you can use this buck booster transformer right so here this uh, uh, as soon as voltage is fluctuating across this load this fluctuation in voltage is being sensed by this control circuit and it will now send a command signal to this motor driver which is basically a servo motor and the servo motor will move this uh, move this uh, stylus over this toroidal winding you know auto transformer is uh, it is having toroidal windings right so as soon as this uh, stylus is moving this is a stylus it is moving over this toroidal winding right so here due to this movement of this stylus number of turns they are basically changing and hence the voltage across this is it is changing right so now see here as soon as suppose an, any over voltage is coming here suppose you say an over voltage of 250 volt is coming here right so that means it is more than 30 volt than the rated volt rated voltage of 220 volt so that means this change in voltage that means this fluctuation this is basically over voltage here in this case this is being sensed by this control circuit and it will now send a command signal to the servo motor and now it will move this stylus over the steroidal windings so the number of turns it will vary and in such a way it will vary that it will produce a voltage of how much in voltage of minus 30 volt right in such a way that when this voltage will be appearing across this so 250 minus 30 that means at the end of the day you will only get 220 volt right now suppose any under voltage problem is there suppose a voltage of 170 volt is appearing across this load that means this is the under voltage problem it is it is a uh, 50 volt higher than this rated voltage of 220 volt so that means again this abnormality or you can say fluctuation is in voltage being sensed by this control circuit and this will send a command signal to the servo motor and now servo motor will further move this stylus in such a way that it will it will produce a voltage of it uh, of plus 50 volt here right so in such a way that this voltage it will be added and it will when it will be added and then at the end of the day it will again be equal to 220 volts right so likewise the voltage across this load is being maintained at a rated value of 220 volt for domestic purpose right so this is called as a stabilization of voltage using this servo mechanism right so this is the uh, schematic diagram 
right of the servo mechanism all right so if you see in the lab you can see that there is a main line which is uh, being connected to the servo mechanism right so as soon as the servo this uh, voltage stabilizer is being connected with main line the indicator will be on and there you will see a reset switch right to reset the system and uh, you will have a auto transformer unit right here right to increase or decrease a voltage in such a way that to increase or decrease the voltage in such a way uh, so as to maintain voltage fixed across the load which is equal to 220 volt for for your domestic purpose right so <coughs> It will maintain voltage at 220 volts only and apart from this you can see an uh, leds and leds for the indication of the on and off conditions and uh, you will see auto and manual switches there right so here this is the basics of this voltage stabilizer using servo mechanism right so basically what we are doing here as soon as load is changing here okay even if a slight voltage is changing at the load right even if you see any slight change in the load it will be sensed by this control circuit and this control circuit will now sense a command signal to this motor driver which will rotate the servo motor in such a way that it will uh, it will maintain it will uh, it will create a voltage of it will compensate the voltage by such an amount that at the end of the day the voltage at the load will be maintained at rated value of 220 volt for domestic purpose at a fixed voltage of 220 volt you will be getting in all the condition whether it is over voltage or under voltage you are getting the same 220 right so the setting that you have set is 220 so that's why you will get 220 volt only right right so so this is the voltage stabilizer servo voltage stabilizer using servo mechanism right so now thank you very much thanks for watching